So I've been geeking out on this AI tool for a little while now, so I'm really keen to show you some of the cool stuff that you can do in it. So the tool is called HitPaw VicP, and it used to be called HitPaw Video Enhancer. It's one of HitPaw's AI tools that will help you enhance video quality and so much more quickly and easily. So HitPaw actually has a bunch of different tools, audio, photo, and video, and there's a lot of compatibility with Windows versions, Mac versions. Also, for some of the tools like VicP, there's an iOS and Android version too. I'm gonna to be showing you through on a Mac, some of the cool stuff that you can do in here. But really at its core, VicP is a video enhancer. So this is gonna be great for you to upscale your videos to increase the quality of them, increase smoothness. So if you've got jerky or shaky footage, we can fix that. And there's even a crazy mode where it will add color to black and white clips. And it's just crazy. And this is also a tool that you would download and run on your computer. So it's using your computer processing power to apply all of these things. So I've got HitPaw VicP installed on my computer here. So this is what you see when you first open up the app. There's lots of different previews of the different things that you can do in here. And it is worth going through and checking out to see how powerful this actually is. And obviously you can then test it and preview stuff with your video files too. And you can do that for a lot of the core functionality in here, even on the free version. So if you wanna jump in, geek out and play around with this, then you can definitely do that for free. But over on the left here, this is where the magic happens. So we've got our video enhancer functionality AI color, video repairing, and there's some other AI tools here like background removal, stabilization, and frame interpolation. So let's go ahead and click on video enhancer here. And then there is a preview here, I think is a great example of this before I show you some of my examples. Let's click on this one here. Now straight away down the bottom, we can see that the original file size here is quite small. So it's 854 pixels by 480 pixels. So what we've got this set here to do right now by default is to up res, so increase the quality of it to 4K, which is a 449% increase in resolution. Now we can change that if we press the little setting here, we can choose what we'd like to upscale or up res to, or we could leave it. If we don't wanna up res it and we just wanna make adjustments to it, then we could leave it as 100%, so it's not going to improve the quality, it's just gonna make the adjustments. So we get to control all of that in here. We can also set the bit rate or the quality. I'd probably suggest leaving this as automatic at least to begin with. And for this example here, let's just up res this to 1080p. And then we get to choose our AI model. So we hit video enhancements on the previous page. So in here, we get to choose things like the denoise model. So if we wanna remove this pixelation, this noise here, this grain, then this is a great model for that. And you can see there's three options inside of this model. There's a high quality V2 model, there is a quality model and a balance. And there's a little description of each of them here, depending on what your specific need is. We've also got things in here like a face model. So this says this is ideal for featuring human faces. It can perfectly repair blurred faces. There's one for improving and repairing animated videos. And then we can get into some of the different color adjustment modes and things in here as well, along with stabilization and low light performance too. But let's go ahead and just run this preview here of the default setting high quality V2. It says that this is great for handling chromatic aberration and is adept at removing noise from a video. So we can just preview this and we get to choose here if we're gonna preview three seconds or five seconds. We can also trim a specific section of the video if you'd like but this clip here is pretty short. So we're just gonna hit preview. And I like how this gives you a before and after. And we start to see this build out over time as it creates and generates this preview for us. But straight away, without even really playing through this, we're seeing a huge difference here in the amount of grain and noise on this left side through to this right side. It's almost non-existent here. It's kept so much detail and brought out so much detail. If we look at this area here in the top of her hair, even the flower, and there's just no real grain or noise in here. It's done a great job of cleaning this up. And we can see that this preview here is still generating through. Now, for some reason, let's jump back to 4K here. So it's even higher quality than we set, but you can see the huge difference. Hopefully you can see with the screen recording and YouTube compression and everything. Now I can zoom in on this as well as this is still processing. So we can really start to see before and after. So there is a huge difference here in the amount of detail. Again, looking at the hair, like this is this is crazy. So we can zoom back out on this. We can leave this preview mode, or if we're happy with this and we wanna just process this clip now, we'd hit export and that would then save out for us. It would process the entire clip, not just the five seconds. So we can exit the preview and that processing would be complete. 
But let's go back and let's import one of my clips here. Let me choose import. I've got a clip here, 720p blur. Let me just preview this. So it's a 720p, so lower quality footage. It's actually out of focus or it's blurry. And let's see what we can do in here. So I'm gonna open this up. Okay, so we've got our clip in here. Again, it's defaulting to up res it to 4K. So 300% increase here in the resolution. Let's just run this here with the default, but obviously we could click through some of these different models as well. But let's just preview this and see how it looks. Because again, this original footage was unusable. That's not a really low quality preview. That's it's really that bad. So as this builds out now, we can see this building out down the bottom here. It'll be looping until it's built out all of those frames. But straight away, we can see the extra detail. I mean, this one here, it actually looks pretty much in focus compared to the original. So is it perfect? No, but it's usable now. And we're up resing it quite a lot that I think the perfect solution here would be to export this clip out as a 4K file from a 720p out of focus file. And then if we used it at 1080p in our editing software, I'd say that this would be beyond usable. So I'm gonna hit export on this one to save this out. And then I'll bring it up here as a preview for you. So to show you the end result here, this is the new version. If we just play through this now, we can see the detail and everything in here. It's fully recovered. If we go back to the original, this is the original, same clip, blurry, out of focus, low quality, not sharp at all. Again, back to the new one, just switching between them. Even look at my eyes. There's a huge difference between the two. So yeah, pretty amazing. So coming back to the home screen here, let's go to AI color. And I wanna show you this. This just totally blew my mind. This black and white to colorization. So let's open this. I've got some black and white clips in here that I've downloaded from Storyblocks. We've got two. We've got this one here, right? Old school vintage clip. And I've also got this one here. So let's drop them in and let's see what it can do. So here is our file and we're gonna use the colorize model. And let's just hit preview and watch this. This is just insane as it starts to generate here. Here it goes, look at that. How does it even know? This is just crazy. Let's go to the other example. Let's grab the other clip, Jersey skyline. Okay, totally black and white clip, as I said. And let's hit preview. How? How is that possible? And so obviously it's going through and generating this out. I mean, think of the possibilities with this. This is just so cool. There you go, starting to play through this now. But you can also stack these things. So we could be up -resing. So right now they're both 4K clips, but if this was older vintage footage, then we could be up it and adding color and enhancing the quality of it, removing the grain and everything too. Like this, well played. So there's also things in here that are more common in some editing tools these days, things like the background remover and stabilization. So I'll quickly show you those things. So this is the background remover here now, and we get to choose if we want it to just make it transparent or if we want to blur the background, so behind the person, or we can generate a green background or a different color, solid background. So we could take it into another tool and use a green screen effect to process that through. So let's just turn off the background fill here and let's just go be transparent. So we get a transparent video and let's preview this. You can see that's going through and that is cutting me out and it's doing a pretty good job. There's a little bit of stuff down here on the desk. This is much better than a lot of the built-in ones. Testing this side by side with the one from CapCut, for instance, this does such a better job. And of course we have the ability to add in the green or another color if we want to use that in another tool. And here is a shaky video file here. Obviously we've got the stabilize mode in here that we can go through and we can stabilize some of this. Again, we could use the trim functionality here if we wanted to trim this down a bit, but let's just hit preview and it's gonna generate some extra frames in here for us to smooth out that motion. So we can see even just in this low quality preview here, how much of that shake it's taken out. It's almost like it's coming in here on a dolly or on a gimbal. And we can just hit export and that's going to render out a high quality version of this for us. So there's also the color enhancement models here too. So if we just hit preview on this now, it's going to analyze our shot and it's going to tweak the colors for us. So we can see that it's dialed up the contrast here on this and it's gonna go through and automatically color correct or color grade our shot for us. So just another example of that now. This is some log footage, so no color profile or anything applied. And you can see the automatic color adjustment here that it is applying to this clip as it works its way through. 
Now for me, outside of the craziness of the black and white, turning it into color while up resing it, improving the quality, the main use for me is improving older video footage, increasing the quality of it, but also removing digital noise, making low light footage look better. So here's some low light footage shot on a phone at a Foo Fighters concert. You can see it's not bad once we're zoomed out, but as we zoom in, then you know we're into digital zoom and stuff here. So we're losing a lot of quality. There's a lot of digital noise here. And this is really one of the areas where Vic P shines. So if we just trim this clip to this piece here, just to give you an example. So let's start the processing around here and let's preview five seconds. We can start to see the quality level increase significantly especially in the darker areas. So up in the smoke and where the light's hitting it up here, this circle here on the ground, there's just so much more detail, so much more clarity around everything. Let's zoom in a bit to make this more noticeable for you. So up here in the darker areas, it's huge. There's just so much less pixelation and digital noise even the detail on the step here between these two. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of this tool. I hope these examples are coming through in the screen recordings well for you, but definitely download it, have a play around, test it out with your footage. There's been so many examples of where I've been able to recover or greatly enhance footage that was previously unusable. So uh, thanks. Hit poor. So in terms of pricing, obviously there's a free version for you to download and play around. And this is really where their pricing is geared at the one year or the perpetual license. So one month is priced significantly high compared to the price of the one year. So one month on the standard plan, $69.99, whereas a whole year is $109.99 or a perpetual one-time purchase of this, $349.99. So that's for the standard plan. Some of those features are only available on the pro plan, but the price difference between the standard and the pro really isn't much at all. So the pro plan one year, $129.99. Now, one thing I did notice is the pricing on Windows is actually a little bit cheaper. So $129 for a year on pro on Mac, on Windows, $10 cheaper. Now, if you want to geek out with some other AI video related tools, check out the video linked on screen. As always, there is a bunch of other links and resources in the description box below to help you even further. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.